Real quick, uh, we sent Stunner and John out yesterday to go confront uh, Jerry Lewis in an interview situation. Did he get a hold of him? Got a hold of Jerry. Uh, we had about 11 questions for Jerry. And uh, the first question that we asked, we kind of lined it up so that we would get Jerry on the team so that he just wouldn't get pissed off. Because, you know, right. Jerry, he gets pissed off. And, Easily. Uh, well, at and, least that's um, what we think. We made the first two questions kind of easy. So that Jerry would, you know, sort of Stop get into talk, it. So yeah. then we could ask him goofy questions like, uh, does your head slide off the pillow from all the grease <laughs> when you're sleeping at night? So what happened? Did um, it work? <clears throat> well, the first question kind of worked. He got into it as predicted. The first question is, uh, how upset are you that everyone thinks Jim Carrey is such a genius when he's basically doing a ripped off version of you? Mm -hmm. Which, of course, we don't believe, but right. Jerry probably would be very flattered he by that. He believes it. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a compliment to Jerry, and yeah. you know, even though he's going to be, you know, you could probably predict. I, I haven't heard this yet, but you could probably predict Jerry will be like, oh no, 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 you know, Jim Carrey's a genius in his own right. I'm very right. flattered that very people flattered, are right, there, right, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then um, we asked him a second question, which was, how do you answer the unfair charges that you're arrogant? <laughs> you know, I thought that would be a good one. Right. Now, at least you had a way to say to Jerry, hey, Jerry, you arrogant son of a bitch. You're arrogant, but we think it's unfair. Not our opinion. But this is the greatest interview of all time because maybe I'm ruining it by telling you in advance. Don't, but I think don't I do. do that. All right, all right. I want to know what happened by hearing it. You do? Yeah. All right. So this is Jerry Lewis with Stuttering John. Well, let's say Jerry proves his arrogance once again. All right, here we go. Hey, Jerry, can we ask a question? WXRK Radio? What is it? Oh, uh, XRK. Oh, wait a second. Let's, let's squeeze in here. Hi, Jerry. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? So let me ask you, how upset are you that everyone thinks Jim Carrey is such a genius when he's basically doing a ripped-off version of you? He's a marvelous comedian. He's wonderful. Great, great physical Please comedy. appreciate one, Mr. Jerry, how do you answer the unfair chart? Well, Jerry, how do you answer the unfair charges that you're arrogant? Well, thank you. <laughs> Jerry being arrogant just walked what off. Did he just walked away? <laughs> walked away, jumped in the car, and slammed the door. Oh, did he really? Yeah. Was he mad when you did it? Yeah, he was like kind of mad that I was even bothering him to begin with. Like he grabbed oh, my arm, like very busy. like very like like stiff. He was like, kind were of, you scared? Like I mean, he's scary, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's yeah because you don't know if he's gonna just wail off on you. Yeah, he's just like a scary guy with the, with the big caps and the greasy hair. And yeah. The, and, and, and he was in a rush, and people trying to get autographs, and he was blowing everybody off. Yeah, yeah, he's like, arrogant. Like me and him. He's arrogant. Like, yeah, arrogant. he's being arrogant. Jerry's getting attention, and, you know, he's got to act like he's getting attention. Yeah, and, I mean, we had a meeting yesterday right. to try to decide what would be the questions to ask, because... You have to be very careful with Jerry. With Jerry. We tried, and because the next one was, has your head ever slid off the pillow in the middle of the night? <laughs> and it got progressively worse from there. Yeah. Would you rather be known for singing or your comedy? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty insulting. <laughs> how can Considering you be, what kind of a singer he is. How can you be a fan of such an anti-Semitic country like France? <laughs> What's your favorite drug of all time? <laughs> I like that one. Uh, what's the next project after this one bombs? <laughs> Did you ever see Sammy without his glass eye? <laughs> cool stuff like somewhere that. Somewhere in there would have been a punch. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in there you would have gotten picked up and thrown yeah. through a wall. If he wasn't in a rush, he probably would have hung around, too. You think so? Yeah, because I mean, well, maybe. Not. I mean, he just walked off and wouldn't even say goodbye. I got him inside the building, and then when you hear us, I say, oh, hold on a second, because we, we were headed for the revolving door. So I, yeah. I jumped in, and Jerry jumped in, you know, behind our cameraman. <laughs> so I'm waiting for him outside the revolving door. And Jerry, and Jerry was probably flattered that there was a you know a guy there with a microphone and a... but he just zipped right into the limo right you know? <laughs> yeah next to the word uh, arrogant in the dictionary there's a big picture of Jerry Lewis <laughs> you know, all full of himself all the years of adulation from those Frenchmen mm. those filthy French I mean, bastards. whenever you know he needs a little boost he yeah. just flies over there right over there and you're okay and he's a god right but Howard, in these instances, could I just go to like? The, I mean, we should have like a if in a rush question, make a star next to it. So if I know I'm only going to get one, I could just yeah. Well, there was a big debate yesterday. Like, do you, you know? Normally, I just say go for the worst question because you may only get that one shot. Yeah, but you know what? Jerry would have just walked off. So at least you got something. At least we heard Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, otherwise we wouldn't have had anything. At least we heard a. Well, at least he said marvelous. That was cool. <laughs> Everything was marvelous. Marvelous. He is a marvelous, uh, you know, and the way he <laughs> says marvelous, marvelous he has said, yeah, I mean, it's the most disgusting <laughs> New York, I mean, Jerry Lewis that we loved was the guy who went, ah, 
<laughs> and then here's a guy, you know, marvelous. Like the, the, the oh, complete oh. opposite of the Jerry character that we love. That R is never pronounced. It's marvelous. Yeah, it's M A H V E L O U Z. Marvelous. He hasn't said a sentence since 1955 that didn't have the word marvelous. Marvelous in it. <laughs> yeah. Every answer would have been marvelous. Hey, Jerry, can we ask a question? WXRK Radio? What is it? Uh, XRK. Oh, wait a second. Let's just squeeze in here. XRK. Hi, Jerry. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. XRK. Yeah, I'm right. You mean the big XRK. Yeah, you mean XRK, the one with Chiazano? The one that has all the hum? Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. The, the one you can't hardly hear the announcer because there's so much hum in these signals? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? So let me ask you, how upset are you that everyone thinks Jim Carrey is such a genius when he's basically doing a ripped-off version of you? He's a marvelous comedian. Marvel. He's oh. marvel marvel marvelous. 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 <laughs> marvelous comedian. You know my theory, I've told Robin this many times, that the real Jerry Lewis was kidnapped in 1955, and this a-hole stepped in... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Because no funny guy could be this miserable. No. <laughs> Help. Help. Who is, he looks like me, but it's not me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> great, great physical. Please appreciate one, Mr. Jerry, how do you answer the unfair chart? Now, what is he doing? Is he staring at you at this point? No, at this point, he's just walking away from me. Oh, he is. Yeah, so he doesn't cool. have time to be bothered with you. No. no. You idiot. So, like... You know, he's probably insulted because he's gotten too many Jim Carrey questions. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that you probably... You, yeah, he was already annoyed. See, I was, I was going for the first... The second question first. Yeah. When we were having the meeting. And then I thought, maybe we'll only get one, so you do want to ask the Jim Carrey question. Yeah, who knows? Cool who thing. knew? Who, with Jerry, you never know. It's always yeah, it's a wild always card. a toss-up. The cool thing about this is... First thing, I would have gone right to the greasy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing about this is, how you don't hear, is that he closes the door to limo, but then the person who was going with him had to go back, didn't get in yet, so he had to open it again. That's when I got the arrogant question. Oh, I see. So he yelled okay. it right into him. Okay. Uh, Jerry, how do you answer the unfair charges that you're arrogant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the door slam. The door just slam. But it's like it's through you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. Oh man. <laughs> oh, good job. Sorry. Jerry really took a liking to you. <laughs> You're well, just an ordinary person. You were treated no differently than his sons. Uh, well, he. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Actually, he was nicer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's here all month, hours. So. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. You know, for that play. Yeah. Oh, he's here more than a month. Yeah. I gotta go see that play. Yeah. I go, but I'm really afraid Jerry would stand up. He'd be How doing a scene. How's he gonna see you? Because they they know who's in the audience ahead of time. No, they don't. And uh, I'm telling, he'll see me. <laughs> and uh, Jerry will walk out on stage, and he'll just be like, "Hold it, hold it, stop the show, stop the show, you." You're not funny. Get out. Get out. Stand up. Get out. Get him out of here. I'm not. Get out. Get out. Get him out of here. show until he's gone. And then he'll leave, and then Jerry will, you know, collect himself. Everyone will applaud. Oh, yeah, he would do that. And but then the everyone... point is, I you because you were saying this yesterday, and I said, you can buy the tickets under somebody else's name. They don't have to no, know your name. Jerry coming. will spot. Listen, I'm easy to spot. <laughs> I don't look normal. What? I think they always look through the audience to see if there's anybody famous. Oh, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. You Jerry go in there after. Uh, the lights have gone oh, down. This is Jerry. You just sneak in there. It's not a marvelous <laughs> performer. Throw him out. Yeah, it's not marvelous. <laughs> Mr. Lewis, how he's, stern is in the audience? I got to tell you, man, he looks good, though. He's like 70, and he, he looks like... Well, he made a pact with Satan in 1943. Yeah, he's Dorian Gray. You yeah. don't know. <laughs> he's got a painting in it. Yeah. Well, he's, like he, he's going to keep going on. <laughs> Dean looks like he caved in. Oh, <laughs> I know. Dean looks like the life is being sucked out of him by Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's only staying healthy to piss off Dean. <laughs> right. Good. Well, anyway, there you go. we got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words.